What's up guys, of Daggers and Darkness. Today I'm going to be reviewing the M4A1 Gen 8. So before I get too much into the video, um, there's a couple of attachments that are already on this blaster because I have used it before. I used it, I got it yesterday, so I, you know, had a quick playthrough and, you know, just basically checked it out before I was going to do my review. Like I normally do with a lot of blasters and I'll go through a couple of things that I've changed and first of all, I'm going to go through the stuff you don't get with the blaster. Just so you guys know, so you're not going to get this real holographic sight, um, that's an add-on I've purchased. It's not going to come with this fold-up iron sight or this flashlight, laser light or the suppressor. You take the suppressor off, it's not going to come with the DKJ3 or J8 hop-up. So that's personal things I've purchased and it's not going to come with the hand grip. So they're just things that aren't going to come with it. Um, so let's get into the blaster review itself. This blaster is the Gen 8, most current version of, you know, the M4s. is highly recommended to purchase it. It's a ridiculously good blaster. The cool features about this blaster is the charging handle has like a little chargeable lock. Like you can see, you have to actually open that. And when you pull the charging handle, it opens the uh, shell ejecting port, which is nice because it's kind of like a dust cover, but then you can open it and, you know, it looks cool and you can fucking write shit in there like I do. But, um... Yeah, so there's that, you know, it's good. It runs a 7.4 volt battery and you can change that to the 11.1 volt. Um, battery storage is like your standard M4s. It's in the uh, buffer tube at the back. Um, this, you know, buffer tube stock is fully adjustable and you can turn it and take it off. So that's a nice feature as well. Some people like that. Some people like changing it. Um, the handguard fully comes off as well and all to do so is you just grab it, give it a twist, and see how it's turned, it's not flush anymore, and then you can just give it a jiggle and it will slide off nicely. Um, thoughts on the blaster and why I've changed a couple of aspects. It does come with the integrated um, front iron sight with the uh, ribbon style sling mount. And I took that off just for the shearly because it gives you a barrel a little bit more like flat barrel room. So you could put, if you wanted to, a um, barrel adapted... Um, bipod or you could simply just put your hop up on there and then to cover them nicely I just put the suppressor over the top which you can't do really with that integrated iron sight and I don't really like the iron sight integrated anyway that's why I've got the fold up one and some people would be like we well, just got rid of one iron sight for another one but I can fold this one down use my sight if my sight runs out of battery fold it up because they sit completely level I've zoomed, I've like leveled it in it works perfectly fine um, the trick on this is ridiculously sensitive um, unfortunately with my version of the uh, Gen 8, my safety doesn't work, like safety works fine, but there's no other setting for semi or full auto, it's just on full auto. So that's kind of okay, kind of not, I like being able to change, if I want to do some target practice I like being able to just do one shot at a time, but you know, it just depends. So guys, this was my, um, this is what I'm going to turn into an LMG. Hopefully, it's kind of going to be like an LMG, kind of just like more um, a juggernaut style blaster. It honestly just depends. Um, the cool thing about this is it does allow for double drum mags. So, it does work the standard drum mag and double drum. Hang on a second. I'll just go over the double drum for you guys to see. Uh, I actually have two double drum mags, so it doesn't really matter which one. But I've got the Lu Hen double drum and the STD standard drum mag and it's got a standard P mag it comes with in it so we'll take the P mag out double drum mag fits in a uh, single drum mag fits in and locks perfectly fine take that one out now the only thing about the double drum mag is once you put it in it locks in a bit like like firmer like it's not as easy to um release I should say so that could just be a little bit of sanding but as you can see, with the uh, sand, with the double drum, it sits flat. So if you put a bipod on, it would actually the like the 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 drum mag wouldn't touch the ground. Uh, yeah, wouldn't touch the ground. Where if you change it, and I'll show you what it looks like with the uh, compared to the, the standard drum. See how much like it like the uh, drum actually sticks out in comparison. It sticks out a lot, which I just personally don't like it. And that's why, I, you know, I like my double drum mag better. See how much more flat it sits. Like, it's just nicer like that. But yeah, guys, that's basically kind of the review. The fact that you can use, and I believe you can use the Jim Ming um, 
drum mag. It seems to be everyone's got STD drum mags. There's no real difference. It's just this fits the STD five and six, where the normal Jimming one doesn't. So you can use like you know your standard P mag, a drum mag, or a double drum mag. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's a ridiculously fun blaster to use. You can actually push the uh, little button here that pushes in that would push the bullets if they don't see, uh, feed properly. Um, yeah, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below. I'm trying to go for a red and black color theme. That's just personally what I'm doing. So depending how it goes, you know, I might paint the body. I might not. It honestly just depends at the end of the day what I can be fucked painting. I've got a new stock coming for it. Uh, I might end up doing something with the suppressor, doing a bit of color work on it. You know, I don't want to do all, you know, color everything. I kind of want to, you know, have some parts colored, some parts not. I like it more like that than just all colored one color or, you know, all very heavily colored. But yeah, guys, tell me in the comment section below what you think of the blaster. Because personally, I think it's ridiculously good. The hop-up works nicely. It works and it's easily adjustable. It's not like a turn or twist. You know, it's an elevation with an Allen key. Some people might like, like that, but I personally do. But guys, honestly, oh, and, and for you guys to know, it is, out of all the blasters I own, it does shoot the furthest. So it has the most range. Um, haven't compared it with some other blasters about on fire rate, but I'd say the fire rate is definitely there because it's an electrical fed magazine, so it does feed them up quicker, opposed to like my G36. But my G36 hits harder, where this one has a bit more range. So it just depends if you want range over stopping power. And you know, to be honest, I love the G36. You know, it's a German rifle. You know, it just depends what you like because, you know, you can't really compare the G36 and this against each other because they're two different rifles. If I was to pair this against my STD Gen 6, I would take the Jim Ming Gen 8 or M4A1 Gen 8 over my STD 6 just because it doesn't have as much feeding issues. Like my STD seems to have a little feed issue every now and then. Gelbles, it will miss like every second shot or every like fourth shot it won't shoot. It will just be air. And that could, you know, be a simple issue of the gel balls just not feeding in the magazine properly, but it has that issue. Where this one, you know, is a lot more built structurally. Um, it sounds a lot smoother. And I just, yeah, I really like it, guys. I'm really amazed with it. Guys, don't forget to go over to my Instagram to see daily photos of my day-to-day -day life. Um, you know, just fucking shit I upload. So, guys, check out my Instagram. Don't forget to leave a comment, a like, and a subscribe. Turn the notification bell on because I will be doing more uploads. Um, yeah, in my previous video, there is issues with the internet. It just, you know, I'm trying to get that sorted out. If I can get it sorted out, I can upload a lot better, more consistently. I was going pretty consistent for a while, but this fucking internet thing is driving me nuts. But guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll catch you next time.